This presentation outlines the content of oral language supporting all learning, commonly referred to as OLSEL, an initiative facilitated by Catholic Education Ballarat. As you engage with this presentation, you are invited to use a Project Zero Harvard University Visible Thinking routine, claim, support, question, to record your thinking. This may then guide reflection and dialogue with colleagues. In the Diocese of Ballarat, Olsel B has evolved from the Catholic Education Commission of Victoria Oral Language Supporting Early Literacy Research Project undertaken during 2009 to 2010 with funding support from DUA. The primary focus of this project was to assist teachers to improve reading outcomes for students. It highlighted the importance of identifying the oral language demands inherent in learning and planning for explicit instruction. Whilst the original also research was an F2 initiative, oral language learning doesn't stop there. Also B promotes and investigates classroom environments as places of talk and thought, where oral language development for all students is core to learning and social connectedness. Research identifies oral language and the links to academic and mental health protective factors. This aligns with the vision of Catholic Education Ballarat we pursue fullness of life for all. During the professional learning, we investigate a critical question. Why focus on oral language? And we take time to consider the research. Oral language is foundational to learning and life. It is the primary tool through which learning and teaching is facilitated and our way to be socially connected. It is foundational to literacy learning. A presentation containing research quotes to prompt dialogue titled Oral Language, Connections to Learning and Life can be located on the OLSA link on the Hive. Understanding why we focus on oral language leads us to research another vital question. What is oral language? We deepen understanding of oral language by considering its different components and their connections. Having investigated the why and what of oral language, we invite consideration of a classroom environment of talk and thought. We prompt thinking of the frequency and duration of the learning and teaching interactions and how we can flip teacher-student talk ratio. We consider the utilisation of thinking routines. We also prompt thinking of planning for opportunities for students to explain what they will learn and how they will demonstrate this knowledge. And opportunities for students to recode and review what they have learned so the required depth of learning is achieved. We consider how oral language permeates all aspects of the curriculum and acknowledge that students transition from being primarily oral communicators to being able to engage in literate communication. Therefore, we investigate the development of students' oral language capabilities and how they can be prioritised and explicitly planned. We investigate opportunities and tools to respond to the question, how will we know if students have learnt it? We investigate the four elements of oral language that were identified through the original OLSEL project as contributing significantly to the development of reading comprehension. Guided by our vision, OLSEL promotes and investigates a classroom environment that is a place of talk and thought, where oral language development for all students is core to learning and life. We invite you now to consider the thinking that this presentation has evoked for you and how your thoughts will support your reflection and further dialogue with colleagues. Please contact and partner with your Catholic Education Ballarat Education Officers 
for further information and clarification.